What's up guys? So someone asked me the question of what happens if they're in the middle of ritual and prayer and something interrupts it. Does that nullify the prayer or what what would happen? Anyway, let's talk about that today. So a lot of traditionalists will tell you that it is very possible that if you stop in the middle of a ritual, if you um, stop your ritual to go get supplies because you forgot supplies, if something just stops the flow of ritual, that it will create miasma, which is kind of a uh, spiritual um, dirt, I guess you could say, and uncleanliness. It kind of dilute and pollute the area that you were uh, working in, and even your house, some say. I know I've heard that someone in the Roman religion has told me that if something interrupts their ritual, they have to completely start over again. So what happens if something unforeseen interrupts my prayers and ritual? Not necessarily that I forgot something, I had to go run and get the um, offering wine or whatnot, but what if someone walked through the door what would happen? What does that cause? What do I do? So first off, I want to say that I don't believe that it makes your prayers beforehand nullified or not count. Um, if you're able to get back into the mindset of whatever interrupted your prayers before that was the, before the interruption, I think you're okay. You can always uh, clear and cleanse the room again if you feel the need to. Um, but I don't necessarily know if it like stops your prayers from being heard, for example. Uh, how do you feel? How do you feel? Are you able to get yourself back into that correct mindset? That's always the biggest issue for me, is that maybe it's not the physical interruption that creates the miasma or pollutes the environment, but it's losing the focus and losing that mindset, depending on what it is. You kind of get out of your headspace. Maybe more than anything, that will create the uh, spiritual quote-unquote pollution of what miasma is. So, so I just want to say that if it was me, and when that does happen to me, what do I do? Um, if that ever happens, I would try again if I could get myself into the right mode of thinking. Does it create a nullification of what I've already done? I don't think it does that, but I think it makes it hard to get back into the flow of where you were before something happened. So the answer to the question of would having to stop my ritual to go do something or if someone busted in and went, hey, and all that, does that create miasma or nullify my previous prayers? I don't think so. But um, to get back into focus, that would be the hard part for me. So that's kind of a gray area question. And that's personal experience. I know tradition likes to say again that um, it creates my asthma, that pollution, and then some religions say that you would have to start all over again because it would kind of nullify it in a way. But it's whatever you feel. If you're able, if you feel like the prayer went through, I think the gods would let you know and you would feel it. If you feel like the prayers went through and nothing stopped that flow, you were able to get back into it, pick it up again, nothing happened, I think that's a sign telling you that you, um, Everything went smooth and you did it right. Even though unplanned things happen, um, sometimes if it doesn't stop the flow, if you're still able to continue, then that's fine. Because every situation is different. If you feel like the gods accepted, then it's a good chance they did. If you feel like it's a complete, um, completely stopped the flow and you couldn't get back into it, I'd try again later or maybe restart again, cleanse the area or uh, just try a different day. So I hope it helped you out some. Um, that's more of a personal question that you have to answer in that moment for yourself. Anyway, guys, I hope this kind of helped it out a little bit. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.